welcome to Mr. D's class. I'm Natasha and this is lesson 11 out of 14. I'm going to teach you subtracting mixed numerals. Let's start with a really easy one. How about three and a quarter take away two and a half? You go 4 times 3, which equals 12, plus 1, which equals 13. Then you go 2 times 2, which equals 4, plus 1, which equals 5. So now your sum is 13 on 4, take away 5 on 2. Now we have to find our common denominator. The common denominator for 4 and 2 is 4. We don't have to change the first fraction because it's already 13 on 4. But we do have to change 5 halves. Now, yeah, I've already done it down here. 2, what we did to 2 and 4, we times it by 2. So now, we go 5 times 2, which equals 10. So now, our new sum is 13 on 4. take away our new fraction, 10 on 4. Now what we do is we go 13 take away 10, which equals 3, on 4. So our answer is 3 fourths. Now for a harder one. 11 and 2 thirds take away 6 and a quarter. We have to change them to improper fractions. So you go 3 times 11 is 33, plus 2 is 35 on 3. Then we go 4 times 6, which is 24, plus 1 is 25. On 4. So now we have to find our common denominator. 3 times 4 is 12. This is how we change our 35 on 3 to 12. Well, for our denominator, we've times it by 4, so we have to times 35 times 4, which is 140. And then we've times this denominator by 3, and then so 25 times 3 is 75. So 140 on 12, and 75. Now we go 140 take away 75, which equals 65 on 12. But this is an improper fraction, so we go how many 12s into 65, which goes 5 times with 5 left over on 12. So our answer is 5 and 5 twelfths. Hope this has helped you subtract mixed numerals. Bye for now.